Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the Steam Summer Sale. Now, this is my first ever uh, Steam Summer Sale. Let me just minimize that for now. And check this out. Now, this is a big deal. If you use Steam, if you haven't been following it at all, for the past two summers, this is now their third one, but the past two summers, they've had these insane, crazy summer deal sales where people end up just blowing off hundreds of dollars on these games. I'm not exaggerating with that. Now, I'm not going to get to that point, but, I mean, everything goes on sale here. Now, check this out, okay? It's been up for, you know, about two and a half hours. But see, I only bought two games. These are today's daily deals. I bought Terraria. $2.50. Because everyone I know seems to play it, and they like it, so figured I'd try it out, you know? And Portal 2, I've been wanting to get on PC for a while. I picked that up for five bucks. Let's go ahead and come over here. Let's, yes, we're going to do another comparison. <laughs> Portal 2 on GameStop? $28 on 360. For PC, to download it on PC, $30. On Steam, how much is it when it's not on sale? $20 to download. It's $10 more on here to do the same thing, but it probably doesn't do as good of a job. That is shameful, you guys. And then check this out. They do all these other things. They always have, you know, community votes and such. Sorry, the mouse is a little bit sensitive on here. I said, you know, I'll throw in Witcher 2. See that? But it doesn't just stop there with the daily deals. Oh, no. It does not stop there. We got the pack deals right here. 84% off all this. 82%. 58% off these developer packages. So you're paying $50 to get these huge collections. I mean, let's check out THQ's collection. Obviously, you're going to get Saints Row the Third in there. But for $50, bucks, you are going to get all of this right here. $50. That's less than the price of a new game. And you get all of these. And there's some pretty good ones here, too. You see Darksiders, Metro 2033. I'm playing through that game right now. Saints Row the Third. That game's still pretty new. The Warhammer series. See, and it even tells you how much you're saving with this bundle. You pay 50 bucks for this. That's savings, people. Even Bethesda does the same thing. You know what the beauty of this Steam sale is? The developers get money. They get a lot of money from this. In fact, most of the time, they make more profit off these sales than when they do just selling their games at full prices. Also, over here, you got all the Flash sales. I already bought Human Revolution, but uh, I just bought the entire Deus Ex series, all three games, and the expansion to Human Revolution for 15 bucks a few weeks ago. But you got these sales going on on the corner here that uh, have certain times when they end, and every day there's always new deals. Then you have all these right here, like Left 4 Dead 2, 10 bucks. Uh, if you're wanting to participate in the Steam sale, here is the tip I've been hearing from everyone. Only buy games that are on the daily deal. Then the last day of the Steam sale, buy everything you want. Let's come over to my wish list because the beauty is also everything goes on sale here. Everything goes on sale. Come over to my wish list. See? Metro 2033. That's on sale. All these other games. I only have 12 on this list right now. But it'll be cool to see them go down even further. And if not, well then I'll... Whoa... Oh, okay, I got those mixed up. For a second, I thought uh, Lost Coast was 5 bucks, but no, Gary's Mod's 5 bucks. And, you know, if these don't go any lower, I'll just buy all of them last day. I won't be spending too much. Well, probably I'll buy all of them. I don't know. Uh, that's really it. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. I mean, check this out. Steam Summer Sale. You gotta love it. And why isn't it loading the damn thing? For whatever reason. I've only bought two here, as I said, but... You gotta love this summer sale. They're helping you, you're helping them, and at these prices, it's not even worth pirating and cracking the game. Because this way, you don't have to worry about a crack, you don't have to worry about the game crashing, you don't have to worry about it not being able to go online, you get to support the developer, and these games, they're just selling for chump change, really. Who doesn't have 250 laying around their house? Who doesn't have $5 in their wallet? Maybe you don't have $5 because, I don't know, you want to use a card or something, but still, you all know what I mean. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to be done with this recording. Yeah, also, I'm recording this on this Mac that I'm using again. I don't know. I kind of like the built-in screen recorder. Let's see how it is. Anyways, 
you console gamers. If you're exclusive on PS3, exclusive on 360, you don't get this. Now, I will admit, PS3, with PSN, you do get better deals. You get better sales. But you have to pay for PlayStation Plus. It's like 50, 60 bucks a year. Do you know how much I pay to have my Steam account? Nothing. Do you know how much I pay for the Steam client itself? Nothing. And I get full chat. I get all these deals. I can buy any game I want to. I have no limits. I've never paid for the application. I've never paid for my account. The only money I put into my account is money to buy games. That's it. Savings. Gotta love them.